For this video, I'm going to be deck testing something that I ultimately don't think is going to work very well, but the moment I saw Unicorn, there was immediately one deck I had in mind, and it was the idea of combining Unicorn with Gardener of Swords for big swings and maybe even a one-turn kill because Unicorn here has this nice two attack power, Gardener has a natural attack power of one. When you equip an item on another creature, you copy it to Gardener. So anytime you put an item on Unicorn, it copies to Gardener. This always stays exactly one attack higher, meaning Gardener always has charge. So the idea that I had was that uh, you can play them both, give this charge, go in for a big swing, yada yada. Uh, originally, I also thought I might use like Swift Strike or Telekinesis, but um, I'm having a hard time fitting them in because I need some defensive tools to survive to get there. I suppose theoretically I could cut these Ice Storms, but nonetheless, there's a lot of card draw, a lot of item stuff, and we're going to try to make this work. As always, deck code will be in the video description. And we're going to go play two games, win or lose, on the ladder. And I think today, if I'm being honest, gang, uh, today might just be an 0-2 as I, as I try to work through this concept. But we'll learn some things along the way. And then maybe I'll bring this idea back for a second video after I work the kinks out. Because uh, this, is, this is a true deck testing video. I've put zero games on this so far. Some, some of the times when I make these videos, I've kind of tried them a bit while I was streaming or things like that. But this is this is straight up first first two games on this archetype as we try to figure out what we want to do. And game one, we're up against Mage. Probably going to be Invasion Mage because I've just been seeing an awful lot of that. <laughs> I don't know why. I think, honestly, if I had to guess, I think what happened was is most people have played in the Gauntlet. And when they played in the Gauntlet where it was just Core Set and Jaws of Oblivion, uh, Invasion Mage that was like a control version was very strong in that particular Gauntlet. And so I think that a bunch of folks saw that and was like, oh, I want to play that on the ladder. And as a result, just been running into it. And shocker, I know. But there it is. So... Tough call. I really want to get this down sooner rather than later, but I also really want to get this. Let's get this. I think this is more important to get multiple triggers if possible, but I don't suspect it's going to survive because, again, because of so many Oblivion Gates rolling around, people are packing executes like crazy as of late. No, they're just going to do that. Okay. That's weird. That's fair. Let's do this and I guess get rid of our Ice Storm. Since I don't think that's going to matter a whole lot here. And... Um, let's actually just get the ward off of this. Probably should attack because this is going to be one of those games I feel where we're going to need to go for a big swing, but... Oh lord, that that will not end well. And they're gonna bounce it to protect it, which is legit. Um, you bet on the wrong side. Let's go ahead and get this in. Pat this. And thieves guild recruit here. So one of the cool things about Unicorn is these fighters guild recruits basically become vipers. <laughs> so if this does come back down and they don't do anything too crazy, we at least have an answer for that. The problem is, is that this is granting, what, two keywords now? So like that's a bit of an issue. Alright, so we're going to do this. Let's do this. And uh, we want this to take out the bigger of the two, so we'll go ahead and lock that harpy down there as well. So we're on the hunt for some items that were uh, buffed by our master here, and 
gardener. And that's the biggest issue here, is that we got to find our combo pieces before they find theirs. They're probably going to be slamming uh, invasion at 10, along with that gate, if I had to guess. So that's really kind of the clock that we're racing. The ancestors bless us. Iron gets back close call. And they can... Uh-oh, that's not a good sign if they're going to plop that down this early. Yes, please put it in the field lane. Please put it in that field lane. I want to unicorn that so hard. Oh. Oh. I don't just know how to make them. Rip. I attacked with this because if they have a prophecy here, I don't want them hitting that. I want them to try to jab something else. There you go. We're fine with that outcome overall. Um, let's go ahead and do this so it gets cover again. Okay. I see you. I see you. Friendly we'll get rid of one of these, but save the other to pair with that unicorn if necessary. But really, we still need to play this because we need to dig. We've found exactly zero gardeners thus far. Ugh, we don't want that in the shadow at all. Something absolutely dirty is coming our way if they're plopping it down, so they got a, probably a handful of more invade. Oh, they're going to copy it. And then they've got this close call to back it up again. Stone yep. is mine. So that's relatively annoying for a number of reasons. We can clear this one out, but we don't have a good answer for the other one. Walk with our Lord. Oh no. And it got drained. Well, I think we're gonna lose this. Because they've uh, they've hit the critical mass. It, it's kind of a bummer because we really just needed to try to find Gardner, but five. That's interesting. I wonder what they're worried about at five. Alright, well we found a gardener. But I think it's too little too late with them at 30. I think it might be too little too late. I don't know. So I can mace some of the big things and shadow shift at least something over. I will cut your purse. So I guess let's start with the shadow shift. I tend the sharpest looking lawn in these aisles. So, shackle the big one and this one. And we're gonna. I mean, if they have a lightning bolt, we just lose anyway. Um, but we wanna get them down on the cusp. I'm worried about them hitting, I guess, this gardener, but. We actually. It sounds weird. We actually have a shot to maybe win this if they don't do something insane here. Ugh. Never mind. Remember what I said, as long as they don't do something insane? Well, that is enough to Walk do something insane. With our Lord. Wow, it must be nice to have all your combo pieces in the first... 
part of your deck. It took me too long to find gardeners. So if, if they don't do that, right? If they if they have like a mediocre turn where they're just not gaining health, uh, we could have played the second gardener unicorn. We would have had nine, right? So it would have been second gardener unicorn uh, mace into trusty sword, and then we could have swung uh, essentially for lethal in the field. So that that would have been our goal, but. We were a combo deck playing against a combo deck. And they just got their combo first, so not much you can do. But we're going to go to game two. Hopefully it goes a little bit better this time. Hopefully Gardener is not buried. Because again, like that's kind of the whole point of the deck, right? Is Gardener and Unicorn, so... We'll see how it goes. Uh, we'll throw this back. The other two are fine as early starts go. Mace isn't terrible. Uh, that's weird. I didn't, I didn't think I clicked on anything to make that pop up, but maybe I didn't. It was a weird delay or something. I don't know. So we're up against Spell Sword. Could be token spell sword, uh, could be mud crab spell sword, could be hand buff spell sword. The war claws and All right, looking like it might be hand buff because the the rally threat I says I want to buff things in my hand. We're gonna try to jump in its way here. Ice Storm might not be relevant just because their capacity to kind of turbo buff is... I'll whip them I mean, it's typically good enough to potentially... Oh, very nice. Very nice for them, I guess I should say. Not so nice for us. We were really banking on getting some value out of that. We really didn't. All right, we found a gardener. So that's good. What have we here? That's a start. They have the ring though, so I got a feeling they're going to be hitting the some your death. annoyances before we do. Like Divine Fervor makes this ice storm me. potentially not great. Again, these rally triggers potentially punish us pretty Talking hard as well. Read my we need them to have a really bad mud crab here where they have to give us something juicy. Like, I think we were actually rel- oh, that's not bad. I think we were relatively okay if they didn't have the exact start they had it. Like, Shadow Mirror with this was brutal. Okay, we've got pieces of our combo now. Uh, we're going to put this a over here. Is what you need. And I guess this over here just to eat I the rally. We put this here because next turn we're likely going to be just hushing this and then taking the trade if our guy survives. I mean, we'd like to save these until we're about to combo off, but right now we need to try to fight for the board. Well, they really don't like that guy. Executing there as opposed to here. Like, that guy wasn't even enough to threaten Mudcrab. I mean, they know that I have the Hush, but at least then I have to also have used the Hush. So. I don't know. I'll see you dead! Did I stutter or something? I seek Alexa's All right. wisdom. Moderately annoying. I really do not have a great hand here. Um Name it. Let's go ahead and do this. Whenever you're doing this, uh sometimes mentor's ring is fine because mentor's ring on the unicorn then also copies it here, which then gives it uh, keyword charge back to the unicorn, which is kind of cheeky. 
So I, I typically try to grab that. Sometimes trusty sword is also fine because really trusty sword that are like powered up is what makes the deck. But I think we're going to grab the mentors are in here. And then we're just going to shackle this so that we can at least get this up to 2-2 two, two so it doesn't auto die to this. It maybe trades into it over time, but also we're just trying to slow things down a bit. Maybe saving that for Gardner is theoretically correct, but um, we're also, if they don't have Fervor, we're hoping they play small things here because we could crash into this and then Ice Storm, which would be a pretty big deal. As we try to stall to get to our combo. I would protect the All right, that is... I mean, not great. All right, we found a trusty sword, so that's nice. Um, this is two turns away from getting big, but this has regen, so like our ice storm will have no damage on that. Time to test my metal. So I think you do this, because then if necessary, even if this grows, the second ice storm will still clear that out. We do also have the, the Hush as well. What have we here? I think this is fine. I don't want to play this just to cycle it at this point. I mean, I typically like to save it for something like our blacksmith or our gentleman who busts all the items in our deck, but at this point, I think cycling it is... <laughs> and of course, and then we top deck it, but Master Swordsmith is traditionally what I like to throw that on, so we can start getting value in that sense. But we're, we're assembling the pieces. We're slowly getting there. We just have to kind of survive. Cast into time. Annoying, but we, we can still trade here. Like that's fine. Another trusty sword. I stand behind my work. Well, let's see if we can find something useful. So we'll use this to trade here and save our I other scale. ice storm. Shadow. Kind of a bummer that after we get our first swordsmith, we've already drawn two trustees because again, like these are these are what you're really trying to buff up as best as possible. But these are still nice. So at 11 Magicka, for example, we've got Gardener, Unicorn, uh, two trustees, and a Mentor's Ring. At 12, we also have this, so that would be 5, 8, 9, 10, 11. But then the uh, 8 is going to be copied again, so it's like 19. Wow, this is Singleton? Well, that changes my perspective on an awful lot. Let's put these to use. I don't just know how to make them. If he breaks my rune, I technically overdraw. Then he also leaves this up for another turn, which I think is fine. Wow. This was Singleton, huh? I guess that makes sense more so now with the Pilgrim, but... I mean, I'm tempted, I'm tempted to hush this mostly because I don't want to overdraw. I think we're going to risk it, though. I got a feeling he's going to get get rid of this, and then that just makes our Ice Storm slightly more relevant. Singleton, huh? So that means that next turn they could Siege, which would be a real problem. We've got to start chipping them away, because like I said, right now we only have like 19 from hand. 
because we didn't get any buffs so on our on our trusty spell swords. So that is a concern. All right, please let this also be small. Oh, it's small-ish. My sword is yours. So we don't overdraw. We get a nice ice storm. And uh, we're actually just going to get rid of this hush now. Because again, got to slowly chip them down here. Okay. Really good for them and not so good for us. We might might have to use our third ice storm already. <laughs> well, we have all of our trusty swords, but sadly that means our uh, master swordsmiths here are kind of feels bad. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this ice storm as well. I guess we'll do this. All right, so next turn, we have three, four, eight, 11. That will trigger twice, so that'd be 22. 24, 25, 20. So uh, if we don't hit prophecies, we can go for lethal. So naturally, we're going to try it. We will probably hit a prophecy and fail. Or they might just remove stuff here. Yeah, they're going to hit us with the edict. Okay. I think that makes us one short. You will die where you so we're going to try to buy some time. Name it. I'll forge it. Well, let's see if we can find something useful. Three, yeah, I mean... Kind of spread this out. We'll save the mace in case we need it for defense, but we're mostly playing that because, again, we're trying to set up lethal next turn. And unless we draw a blacksmith that reduces the cost of things, we can't fit them in anyway. Because our 12 is basically everything up through this sword. But now that we've got them to 26, we just I need basically like this to survive. We just need one more damage. And then, you know, not hitting prophecies, but. Or we could be extra greedy. So we're actually, I think, going to be extra greedy here. You guys stay on the marked path. We're going to do this and wait one more turn. Just because now if we hit a prophecy, it won't be as punishing. In theory. Now they're mousing over that, which means they're probably going to hit that with a removal, but... That would be fine. But we're going to get we're going to get to do the thing, and that's the most important part. You cannot hope to run. Oh no! Well, that's annoying. You can't stay on the marked path. All right. So again, you have to put them onto unicorn here. So unicorn, unicorn. Unicorn. Dagger on the unicorn. And then Mentor's Ring on the unicorn, which should 
happy to him, which then should give everything charge, which means it goes back to the unicorn. Uh, you swing with uh, this one because if the unicorn dies to a prophecy, it shuts down the charge, so like it's more brutal. But as long as yeah, I was gonna say as long as that's not a javelin, we got this. Hooray! We did it. So anyway, that was like the idea I had for the deck. Now it's again a little bit of bummer that first game just because uh, that mage deck, the the invasion mage deck and the invasion battle mage deck, the good ones, and I say good loosely, are just combo decks, like the cheesy one we're playing. Um, they just drew their combo faster. This time around, we survived long enough to get our combo off, and that that's it. Unicorn and gardener. I, I've been wanting to try it out because like I said when I saw a unicorn that was immediately what came to mind I was like oh man this works so amazing with Gardner so uh, we got to pull it off anyway I, I don't think this list is fully refined I'm sure that I'll tinker with it throughout so maybe I'll do another video on it down the line but if you made it this far thanks for watching and until next time may you walk on warm sands